will save you from this fix. One cannot come to terms with lunatics if Orgon has gone back on his word. Distinctions twixt right and wrong have blurred. But if harsh disagreement, I should voice and sacrifice all of my feminine poise. Should I be tossed into this manly tangle? Would I not then my reputation mangle? Would my Valair desire to flit a wench? <laughs> oh, my oh. oh. I see you prefer the stench of our Mr. Tartuffe. How could you not? Consider the fine qualities he's got. Oh, why should I stand opposed to your desire? That body makes a woman burn with fire. <laughs> There's that sculpted form, that perfect end, that shirt tail where his uh, belly does distend. <laughs> oh, he has the smooth complexion of a fish. The answer to most any woman's wish, a smile topped with weeks of built-up plaque, a team on his sleek and hairy back. But as a tartoof, you'll be, oh, what a ride, such glory setting by him as his bride. Good God! Well, yes, you really must thank Jesus, entangled with a man who gently pleases. Enough! To be, I pray I need support of immolation is my last resort. Please tell me what to do. I wait your word. There is nothing you can do but quickly gird your loins for Tartuffe to be well acquainted. As we would not want your image tainted by anger or the slightest contradiction, we strive to keep alive that friendly fiction. And as Madame Tartuffe, oh, you'll have your fun. You'll visit his hometown. You'll have the run. A town where the conversation is the weather, and noting how the eyebrows grow together on foreheads that most strongly do protrude, well, no one knows a joke that isn't crude, and then of course they cling to their fine art the way they strike etchings to their heart. Doreen, dear wise Doreen, what do I do? Don't leave me hanging, painting such a view. Oh, my rounds do call. I beg of you, I plead. I think Tartuffe is just the man you need. Help! Nuh-uh. All my hopes have been erased. Of your tartuffe, you've not yet had a taste. Just think about the bleak ramification. I think you're right for tartuffe vacation. Oh, <laughs> right. I see you're going to be of no support if all of you can give a sharp retort. All must remain to feel my father's wrath. Despair shall constitute my epitaph. One moment there, I come back to my sense. You must have some semblance of defense. I'll die if Father forces this. I'll run away for good. I'll slit my wrist. Hold on, dear girl. Don't give in to despair. We might devise your lover. It's Valera. Oh, my dear. A bit of news has come my way. I thought I'd hear what you might have to say. News? Here to witness your tortu. Oh, yes. That subject did my father just address. Your father? Called me and just now told that it is now Tartu to whom I told. <laughs> he's, he's kidding, right? No, he is quite sincere. He means just what he says, it would appear. Get to this plan of action, to rebut. What did you say? Well, I said nothing. What? <laughs> nothing? Yes. Ah. What should I have said? <laughs> that he desired to Tartuffe to be wed. You should? Of course. You mean it? Uh, sure, why not? Tartuffe is certainly the best you've got. I see. I thank you for your wise advice. The ticket option should not cost you a price. You gave it readily enough, I see. I but expressed the desire of me. Wish but to indulge your keen desire. Let's see which one turns out the bigger liar. Aha, my desire? Should you do just you obviously want? Please, sir, lest we should collide with ignominious ends, perhaps we should divide the best of friends. I'll not give history a loose revision, but simply choose to abide by your decision. It seems my choosing had no influence. Your heart already fixed its congruence, and now, with your decision ready fixed, you claim that it's by my words I've been mixed? If that's what you would like to think. Oh, yes, I love you the more, but you love me the less. Didn't know it was a competition. I don't suppose you mind the supposition that, leaving me much wiser but no older, I might yet find a sympathetic shoulder. No doubt. A man like you is most impressive to a naive. Just stop there. Do not make less of the one whom I intend to help me through this. And she'll lend perspective to the way I view this. In her arms, I might yet find my salvation. Her love has suffered no surprise invasion. I see you hardly more than past the loss you might have felt. You're moving fast. I only try to block it from my mind by seeking for a ray of hope to block the anguish I now sadly suffered. Of course, I must somehow attempt to buffer myself from loss of hope and loss of station. And so I look for other compensation. Please. Let me not impede your quick retreat. Perhaps you wish your concourse 
more complete. Should I accept this waste away inside when my superior hand has been denied? It seems to me more than a bit of waste, too idle, ever longing, ever chased. Well, go! Why don't you leave me all alone? My heart is quickly turning to a stone. You'd rather that I go? I do. That is all. For your demands, I will no longer stall. That's good. <laughs> I now require your request. I will not remain as an unwelcome guest. I know. I only follow the footsteps where you leave. You are the one who chokes his path. Indeed. <laughs> I did so long to hear that from your lips. And now I'll have to split you up with wits. Go! <laughs> 